Are you motivated to code as a software developer because of external factors that are pushing you to do that? Or because you just want to code, you just enjoy doing that? And there's this idea of intrinsic and extrinsic motivations. Intrinsic being motivations that you generated yourself internally and extrinsic being motivations from the outside world whether that's the need to earn money to put food on the table to pay a mortgage or expectations of society as to what you should or shouldn't do I think it's interesting to look at your motivations as a software developer and see why you're really doing the things you're doing and I've been a software developer now for over 20 years. I work commercially for some quite well-known companies like the BBC and Electronic Arts for 13 years and now the last four years I've been a solo developer building my own products, selling my own courses and ebooks, and now uh, helping other developers with my coaching program. I've always found it strange that there are some things that I will, for some reason, that seems unexplained at the time, that I'll have unlimited motivation to do some kind of work. And then for other kind of work, I'll barely be able to, to even start. And I remember when I was a kid, we would get homework at school, and whenever I would get home, I would do that homework as the first thing that I did when I got home. And I realized that this was kind of strange. This was not something that, that my friends did, but yeah, I, with homework, there's a strong extrinsic motivation. There's this motivation that we need to do that because we need to be seen as like a, the good student whether for our teachers or for our parents and I was motivated by these forces for for a long time doing my homework doing well at school following all the rules basically and then yeah doing a computer science degree and getting a job trying to fit in do the work that's expected of me a lot of these were extrinsic motivations and that's really, I think, probably 80% of the reason that I, I ended up um, doing software development, at least in my commercial career. And if I think back to the times where I, did so I, I wrote software because I was just curious, that was really when I was like 12 or 13 years old. As actually my, my dad had, had written some software uh, many years before and I'd always had that in the back of my mind that it was cool that he could he could he made this this game He could create a game small game using code when I was 12 or 13 I decided to Because uh, we got a computer for the first time. I decided to have a go myself and I learned this or I tried to learn this programming language called Visual Basic and uh, Really struggled with it like struggled to understand what we, what was a variable like what was what was that as a concept it didn't make any sense to me so it was a bit off and on with me like but that was definitely a, an intrinsic motivation it came from within out of curiosity then i bought this software that allowed me to like make these really basic games with very little coding i guess i kind of followed that path into studying studying this topic at university but by that point i'd lost a, a lot of that intrinsic motivation it had been replaced by all of these different topics that we had to learn things like elementary linear algebra or logic or computer hardware those are all things that i was i was never interested in but f i was forced at that point to to learn them because they were part of my computer science degree. I think at some point when you have these external factors that are like motivating you to learn all these different things and you know eventually I, I landed the jobs and 
and I had to learn all this uh, Java software development stuff, all these frameworks like Spring Boot, Gradle Maven. And usually it was, it was a, an extrinsic motivation. It was because the employer needed this, this thing delivered. And actually towards the end of my development career, I had a little bit more freedom because I, I'd reached the senior level. I had a bit more freedom to, to guide what I was working on. Like I wasn't really interested in the software product in my, in my last job, but I was interested in speeding up the build process for myself and for other developers. And that's what got me into this uh, Java build tool called Gradle. That was like a, a small hint of uh, an intrinsic motivation that came back. It was something that I was interested in to do for my own reasons. I can't really explain it. I think sometimes intrinsic motivations, you know, you, you don't need to explain them. For some reason, for me, making videos on YouTube, whether they're about software development or whether I'm just, I'm in another country trying to document something. I just like doing that. Think about what you would like to do even if you weren't getting paid for it. Let's say you had all the money you ever needed and, and you were just free to do whatever you wanted and you've done the partying on the yachts with the, with the chicks and the alcohol and after that you, you get to do anything. Well, I think for me, I would, I would still be doing this YouTube stuff. Whenever I found a problem that I could solve with software, I would be very motivated to build something to solve that. And that's what I've done, it, like in the last four years, I've, I've built a few small software products, mostly around YouTube, to kind of solve some of the problems that I, I faced in my workflow. I think it's important to, to consider whether your motivations as a developer are, are coming from 100% outside or 100% inside, or maybe a mix of both. And for me, at least in the past, when when all of my motivations have been external only, that's not in a good place because you have this sense that you're only doing things for other people. You're not kind of enjoying your own curiosity. So yeah, of course, I think there's a basically a healthy balance. Like if you think of it as a, a Venn diagram, there's a healthy balance between doing things that you want to do, following your own curiosity, but also helping people, like solving real problems in the world. And if you can get a balance between those two, well, you can earn an income doing the things that you enjoy doing and get the satisfaction of helping other people. And yeah, that's what I'm striving towards. That's something to consider. Are you doing what you're doing in life purely for outside factors to impress a boss to pay a mortgage or because that's what society tells you to do or is there still some element of internal curiosity or joy and how could you begin to move more towards that if you want to join a group of developers who are exploring their own curiosity by building an audience online getting out of their comfort zone and putting themselves out there on the internet then you're welcome to join my community. It's free. We give each other support. And there's a course in there that's also free that's going to help you get started and upload your first video to YouTube so you can start sharing your skills and interests with other developers. And thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.